Hello, everybody. It's Monday, time to stream. And I have reference images of hands holding binoculars. And that's where we're going to start today. Hello, Arcraft. Hello, Figmix Made. It's, uh, it's been quite a weekend. It's been quite a Monday. And, uh, and we all know how I feel about birds, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some thumbnails for some posters for Black Birders Week. Because I have one skill, and that skill is drawing things. So, so that's where we're gonna start. Um, My first thought was to do basically the sort of hand holding the binoculars. Binoculars also not a easy, uncomplicated thing to draw. They might be scientists trying to hold it together for four hours before a very important work meeting. You can do it. I recommend not listening to the news if you're trying to hold it together. Because, uh, yeah, that's fun. I've just totally lost the plot of the binoculars, but it's less important than And sort of the general idea of the thumbnail. So that was one thought. Oh, I'm sorry, they might be saying this, that sucks. Sorry for your loss. Maybe you should reschedule that meeting. So then there's also the idea of oh, hands, human hands. There's a reason that we use them for things, um, visually, because they are so recognizably human without being individual. But because they're so recognizably human, Drawing them is a challenge. Oh. 
let Chet have their sort of personal conversation for a bit. Not read it out. On the live stream. Try and learn to draw binoculars. Because, man, if I'm gonna do a thing for bird week, black birders, there's one thing birders know. It's their binoculars. And they're birds. So, more confident with drawing the birds than the binoculars, frankly. No worries at all, they might be scientists. Chat is meant to be a safe place. And if you need to talk about something, you should talk about it. You are welcome. I'm glad that you enjoy my art streams. They might be scientists. I am now going to go on a small rant about um, being emotional. And how I think we demonize the idea of it too much in professional settings. I don't think that we should be required to keep a lid on our emotions when they are going on just because professional colleagues don't want to have to deal with what we're feeling. I think that we go too far to demonize the expression of emotion and demand too much stoicism in the name of professionalism. And I think it's not healthy. I think women especially fall prey to this mindset because uh, when we show emotion, we are then demonized for being women. So we try extra hard to be extra stoic about things, lest we lose our credibility. And I think that that's a thing that we should all be sort of pushing back against. I recognize that there's a, a list of things we should be pushing, pushing back against that's longer than my arm. But as it's come up, um, I think that, yeah, I think that academia has a problem with it. Um, every office I've ever been has a problem with it. It's, it's a cultural issue, I think, that goes beyond just the workplace. It's the idea that we should be, that, that, that to be in control of our emotions, we need to not be showing them. That by not expressing emotion, we have a handle on our emotions. Uh, 
uh, Pretzel Pretzel Rocks Music Bot has uh, has taken the tone of the conversation. I think. But yeah, I think we're definitely, I agree, Figment's made, we're trained to hold it in. Um, as if we equate the expression of emotion with the loss of control and the, the hiding of emotion with, with the ability to still think clearly and act impartially, I guess. Um, which I think is not true, frankly. I think. Which I think is a lie. Uh -oh. I, I like the two hands on the binoculars from the front. I think I'm going with that. This is a little bit awkward looking and the binoculars look too heavy. So. Got somewhere with that. Excellent. Um, not just the pressure to smile all the time, but I think, I mean, I, for example, have had instances where, um, where I've been asked if I was crying after given a uh, director critique, for example, as if, you know, in horror when, you know, my eyes were dry or something. It, it's... It's an expectation that we will break down and that when we do, something has to be done about it. I've suggested that what I would like is a t-shirt that says, these tears are preventing your death because I have a tendency to tear up when I'm very angry. And, uh, and it's frustrating because the last thing you want when you're very angry is to not be taken seriously. So that's my that's my rant for today on on how we're doing it wrong. I mean, there are some more obvious ways that we're doing it wrong just in general, but I'm not really qualified to speak on those. But I can certainly tell you how annoying it is to be expected to be an overly emotional person and also to have that equated with weakness. And yeah, I think that we should all be more allowed to show our feelings when we're having the worst possible day. I don't think there's anything particularly wrong with it. I don't think it's unprofessional. I think it's way more professional to say I'm having a terrible day and this may not go well so that everyone knows what the heck's going on. Oh, music bot. Yes, they might be scientists. That's a perfect way to put it. The issue is framed as you let them get to you. As if that's not a thing that's supposed to happen. So, oh, you don't let them get to you. Really? Like, that's not... gonna work. <laughs> Yeah, music pot. 
but this is really more of like the end credits. I don't think music bot means, I don't think music bot means it like it said it. So anyway, birds. Um, anyone who's watched this channel before knows how I feel about birds. So, I've had a couple of requests. Feel free to, uh, it did warn us, it's true. Um, and it, and, and MusicBot is unstable as a program. It crashes a lot. Um, so, <laughs> so here's some thoughts, um, for this. Someone, some, um, Drow, Drow Rider, there's more to that username, but on Twitter suggested a grackle, which I thought was great. They're pretty, they're pretty cool little birds. Um, they might be scientists listed a number of birds, but one from my youth in Tennessee is the belted kingfisher. So I think I might throw in a belted kingfisher. Um, and then you say quail, I say Bob White's are quail. Um, I'm slightly, uh, slightly trolling Tennessee a little bit with this, um, because I'm a little mad at them. Uh, someone retweeted, I think, scientific tea, a tea pun, like mine's a tea pun, um, retweeted, uh, a Tennessee, um, black partners group tried to promote the week on, a, a naturalist, a Tennessee naturalist group website, and the post was taken down, and, and that's not cool. So the Mockingbird and the Bob White are the state birds of Tennessee. So I might just uh, might just throw those in there to uh, to make a point. We'll see. I got some I got some reference for for the for the grackle anyway, grackle and the kingfisher. And I was, and I was prepared. I've got the Bob White. I was prepared for for the shout of quail. At this point, I can predict a little bit of what's going to happen. At least in the quail in the quail department. Uh, and the idea is for just sort of to fill this back. I just made a hand gesture that you can't see. Um, to fill to fill this sort of space with birds. Um, and then probably put sort of black birders week here. Um, just, you know, make a, make a nice illustrative poster graphic that, that anybody who wants can, uh, can grab and use for events, various stuff on the internet or off it release it with sort of the Creative Commons rules of free free use just as a as an easy resource for people I'm wanting to do it today uh, so that it isn't too late to use for actual <laughs> Black Birders Week so probably going to spend the evening doing that unless I get feisty and go sit on the sidewalk to break curfew and annoyance, um, which I still might do. Got to be careful about the fact that there's still a pandemic going on. Um, I need to protect my household, but, uh, I am annoyed by the curfew. So, blackbirders and uh, and some 
some some subtle some subtle Tennessee trolling. Because because be better, Tennessee. I know you can. I know you have the power. Oh, the end, days as we know them. Cool, cool music bot. Uh. Music Bite has been watching the news as well. I feel like he needs longer legs. I think I've put him too close. Too close to the binoculars. I remember I remember Grackles being a little bit a little bit leggy. More like that. Feels better. Ooh, snow and sleet in Australia. That's right, reverse hemispheres. We had a thunderstorm over the weekend. That was weird. I think it was, maybe it was Friday. I don't know. My sense of time is broken. Unless, unless I have a deadline, in which case I've written it on a whiteboard. I'm never really sure when things happened. We don't usually get thunder or lightning in the Bay Area. It's pretty rare. Just because of the general atmospheric conditions, I guess, created by the ocean and the Bay. Okay, got ourselves a grackle. A grackle on some binoculars. Here's a fun fact. When I googled my hands holding binoculars reference, uh, they were all definitely white hands. I think many pages in there was one black person. And the first one was a drawing, not a photo. So, uh, a visibility campaign is, is definitely necessary. Okay, Grackle. Are they bigger than that? Based on hands and binoculars, I feel like they are. I feel like they're actually more... More like more like that. Too big. Grackle scale. I haven't had a grackle in my binoc Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, uh, like, I don't know. What's the comparative scale of hands to grackle to binocular? I also, I also don't have a... Don't have a good, a good reference. Um, for... <laughs> Hmm. 
for, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well. I don't know, we can... No, wait. I feel like I can... No, no. Squish the binoculars a little bit. And then maybe... Yeah, it's fine for now. I decided my choices are fine for the moment. Ooh, heat light. See, I think heat lighting is, is really, really fun and lovely. Sort of like the weird glow in the clouds. That's not a Bob White. That's just a California quail. You should yell at me more about my filing system of reference images, y'all. It's not great. Yeah, we're we're going. We're we're doing a quail. As soon as I find, oh, as soon as I find anything. <laughs> Hello, Jabberwocky Pie. Okay, wait, Bob White Quail. We'll just Google image search it. Northern Bob White. Good. Oh, we've identified uh, Friday's car alarm bird in Australia as a peewee, whatever that is. I'm sure Google knows. I've got myself a Bob White image. I've decided I'm just going to be making this, hang on, um, just going to have to make this uh, there, there. There's the tool I wanted. I'm just gonna have to make this bigger. Let's see, it's 13 by 19. I'm gonna have to make the canvas. Let's, what is it? 19 by 20. Let's go with 19 by 20. That's a better, yeah, that's a better looking scale for what we're doing here. Give ourselves more bird space. Because, uh, because Bob White's so many bird names just sound ridiculous and fake. That's that's weirdly true. The Australi Australian magpies are full of murder. Oh dear. Okay, a bob white is bigger than a grackle. <laughs> this is bigger than a grackle, but smaller than your binoculars. <laughs> all, all our all our measures of scale now being grackle and binocular based. That feels, that feels basically Bob White sized. I'm just gonna move it down a little bit so it can, so it can conveniently grasp the, uh... the binoculars here. Hello, get to know nature. <laughs> it's Australia, everything's full of murder. Well, that took a dark turn.
Pee-wee is annoying, but not deadly. Well, look. Look at this nice Bob White. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. Oh dear. Being a little being a little harsh on Australia, maybe. It's surely all of their wildlife isn't isn't murdery. Yeah, Florida, Florida has both feral peacocks and like enormous accidentally released snakes like boa constrictors. But we've done that. To, we, we did that ourselves. We, we broke Florida ourselves. That's our fault. Okay, yeah, f to be fair, the snake problem is, is kind of because of hurricanes. Uh. But if we did not have snakes that could escape and live indigenously in Florida, then we wouldn't have had to worry about it. I'm just saying saying it's still probably our fault. I mean, not ours specifically, obviously. But, uh, but peoples in general. Yeah, lionfish are, are are now a huge problem. Um, they're a huge invasive species problem. I was not paying attention and I looked up and, and and read the sentence, that's how I got chased by an emu as a small child. <laughs> and, uh, and now there's a story <laughs> behind that that I don't know. Um, We had an emu in our yard once in Tennessee, but it was a small town, so everyone kind of knew whose fault it was. Like, what had happened? Ah, crazy neighbors, they had an emu, they didn't maintain their fences. I see what's happened. I like that you used the too long didn't read abbreviation, even though uh, you, there wasn't anything to read. Oh no, I switched colors, white. Okay, back to... Back to pencil.
Oh man, we've we've switched from we switched from from dragging Australia to to Florida. Oh, every conversation eventually gets back to murdering Cazwares. So I did a while ago now a stream where I was like, we're just gonna sit and we're gonna Google like weird weird birds and sketch them and learn about weird birds. And that's how Hoatzins became one of my favorite birds. Um, but the best part of the whole thing was that anytime I tried to find cassowary visual reference, the internet really wanted to tell me about how many people had been murdered by them. It was just so excited that I know how many people <laughs> had been murdered by cassowaries. No other, Googling no other bird will give you this. It's just cassowaries. I need a better PR person, I think. Okay, we got a bob white and a grackle. Just gonna kind of clean up the overlap a little bit. I mean, baby emus are adorable. And adult emus are pretty fluffy. I mean, don't don't hug strange emus, but they are pretty they are pretty fluffy. I think I want it's a little it's a little I, I want I want little 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 toes on top there. So it's it's yeah, there we go. It's it's perched on, on the uneven surface. Now we got a bob white. Let's do let's do uh, let's do a flying reference for yeah. Let's do a flying kingfisher. Which side? Maybe the other. Maybe the maybe the grackle side. Maybe maybe like here. Am I on? Yeah, I'm on my kind of on an, my own layer. I say there, maybe, maybe farther, maybe farther out. Is this going to become a horizontal, horizontal composition? Oh yeah, there is there is a baby emus. There's I forgot there was a baby emus game. Wait, I'm sorry. I have just learned something I did not know, which is that Shannon McGuire had an emu for a while because Animal Rescue got it from someone who was keeping it inside an apartment, which sounds like a possibly even a worse idea than it is like it 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 sounds like a thing that you should not ever do just just saying it out loud makes it sound like it's a mistake. <laughs> oh, 
hot dive bomb by tree swallows today. Just get to know, get to know nature. <laughs> dive bomb by tree swallows. Chat agreeing with me that uh, that Emus and apartments is the worst idea. <laughs> get to know nature. Willing to be dive bombed by owls for science. I feel like my my scale is wrong here. Because in reality, they have kind of tiny bodies to go with their large heads. Like kookaburras. I think they're a sim like the same family. I don't I don't know if that's true. I could be making that up. There we go. Little, little tucked up feet. Cool, kookaburras are kingfishers. Good. I'm correct. Well, music's gone a bit, a bit weird. Once we, once we get this, this banded kingfisher in, um, it's time for more, more board, board requests, uh -huh. for more bird requests. So maybe some songbirds. Oh, tanagers are nice. If you don't, if you don't request, I'll just draw all my favorite birds, which is fine. Um, I'm not. It's not a hardship. I'll just, I'll just draw all of the birds that I like best. Oh, that's right. Um, they're, they're. Little little crested. Uh... I do I do I think need to make a decision if I'm sticking if I'm sticking with North America, or if I'm just going for all of the birds in the world. I feel like I might. I don't know which makes more sense. Kind of all the birds in the world is more fun. To be sure. Any bird can be in North America if it gets lost enough. Oh. Fair. I actually, one of my favorite parts of, uh, of you know, bird books is uh, the parts where, where there's, you know, the little bits where it's like, and these hummingbirds can show up super lost. Okay, we've got a uh, kingfisher. I don't know for sure where he goes. He might, I might bring him in a bit. Yeah, he can stay where he was for now. So, I mean, I'm not. 
I'm not overly concerned about about bird location, but it does feel like I if if I'm gonna do because so far I'm kind of North America, so I feel like if I'm gonna go international, I need to go go like fully fully international and like pick pick birds from like a number of birds from other places. Um, I might, I might, I might add my favorite, my favorite bird, which is not, which is not from, from Tennessee. In fact, um, my favorite bird is, uh, it's from the Southwest. Um. But I love it. Um, so I might... I'll stick... I'll stick that maybe here. Maybe. Because it's tiny. I love a million flycatchers. They are, they are my favorites. And I am failing to draw one. I think because there's too much of this over here. Goes over here. Okay. Oh, that's fair. At least one corvid. Maybe not penguins. I don't think penguins will work. Uh, in context. But you're right. There should there should be there should be a corvid of some sort. For sure. Smaller body, bigger head. Well, I mean, a a different a different scale relationship between the body and the head, or rather. There we go. Let's see, what? What, uh, a crow, a raven, a magpie. Um, a rook. No, I'm just, I'm just trying to think of more, more corvids. Uh, rooks are fun. They're also not North American. Um, if we go, if we're going that that direction. Just a little of a million flycatcher. Because they're my favorites. Get him in there. Okay. And also because we've gone sort of large, I know we needed to go kind of small. Containment breach. Oh no. 
Magpies are neat. Crows are neat. Um, birds are neat. Let's 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 look up rooks because I feel like they've got a really unique look. They are Oh no. A Zoom meeting you forgot about. No. A rook that's that's shouting, I think. Yes. A shouty a shouty rook. I don't know, I'm still, I'm still torn, I'm still torn. I'm still kind of into the idea of keeping it North American. I don't know why exactly, possibly because I've started with North American birds and now it feels weird. But rooks are so neat looking. Let's... Keep, I keep just making this, making this hilariously different. So, okay, now it's uh, now it's eighteen by twenty. It's nineteen by twenty. It's eighteen by twenty-four. That seems that seems seems incorrect. Dear internet, poster size, <laughs> please. No, it's 18 by, 24 by 36, 18 by 24, and, uh, and, right, so, uh, I'm not sure this will help, because then it's narrower but taller? Yeah, I know. Oh. No, that doesn't- that does not help. That's fine. It's fine. We can, uh, we can make it work. Oh, a hummingbird. Obviously a hummingbird. So correct. Just gonna grab a uh, crested pigeon photo. Now that we've now that we've gone international here. Yeah, but yeah, we definitely definitely a hummingbird. Obviously a hummingbird. I can't I can't believe we. We didn't already, Hummingbird. Just gonna tidy up my screen here quickly. There we go. Grabbing my reference. It crested, we've, uh, they may be scientists and I have been calling them punk rock pigeons because they look just, they look like, basically they look like North American morning doves, but with, uh, but with cool hats, with, with little mohawks, punk hair. So, crackle. They have they have interesting faces. Do grackles? Not grackles. That's a grackle. A rook. 
Oh, my brain. My poor, poor brain. So much to keep straight. Rather forward. Okay. This right. And scale. Are we about, I think we're probably slightly smaller than that. Also, they've got kind of the, uh, the neck, the neck sort of rough like almost like a rooster or a raven. Put you up there. Excellent. Got a rook. Um, where's our, our crested pigeons going on the other side? That was the wrong button. Thank you, Jabberwocky Pie. I draw a lot of I draw a lot of birds. It's uh a particularly fun hobby is the birds. Get our little, our little crest right here. Just peeking out from the back. I'm peeking out a little bit farther, I think. Oops. It's on its not on its own layer. Fix that. Just want to see a little bit more of the back. Because of these sort of unique stripey bits here.
More, more feats. More feats on people hands. Excellent. Yes, I have just saved, in fact. All is well. Okay. We need, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna switch quickly to like an, <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. And I'm out of tea. I'm gonna switch quickly to red because I want to just do an overlayer here of, we need a bird here, bird here, bird here, a bird here, a bird here, and a bird here. Is how I'm feeling. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, six more birds to kind of fill that space. Um, let's go with uh, a potu. Yes, a potu. <laughs> Always a potu. No, let's go with um, let's do the hummingbird. Um, and let's go with like a, a South American hummingbird, maybe. South American hummingbirds. Ah, oh, the ones with the crazy tails, maybe? One of the many with crazy tails. But which crazy tales? For there are many, for there are many hummingbirds with crazy tales. Maybe, maybe the one with the really long single feather decorative bits. Um, what? Ah, yes, the marvelous <laughs> spatula spatula tail is apparently what it's called. Um, it's got, yeah, it's good, it's good times. Yeah, I don't, it, I, I, I read it like that because I, my brain was refusing to accept that that's what it was called. It was this moment of like, no, no, surely, surely not, surely. <laughs> Surely it's Latin or something, and I'm just doing this wrong. Um, so up here in this wee corner, is that my okay? And that's that's my pigeon. Let's go back to the size we were at before. So it's like a wee a wee little a wee little fellow. As, as hummingbirds are, it's got a little tiny bit of a tuft, a jewel throat and crest. Um, tiny feet. But then it's got like this tail. Like that. <laughs> and that's. Uh, 
Um, yep, like this. I made the bill worse. No. <laughs> I did not improve it. A sort of a a glittery stripe down his front. Hummingbird babies are pretty great. I had a couple of years I had a hummingbird nest in the tree outside my kitchen window. And uh, the babies start out so small and then by the time they're sort of look like hummingbirds they're they're squidged into the nest so tightly it's hilarious. I had to catch one and put it back in its tree when they were learning to fly because we have so many outdoor cats in the neighborhood and they've got a very tight little grip Just there we go. Maybe a little bit of overlap. I don't know. Get nah. <laughs> All right. We got a hummingbird, a rook, a grackle, a bob white, a banded kingfisher, a vermilion flycatcher, and a crested pigeon. What else? You know, another small, I think another small songbird. Maybe, um, maybe we'll do a western wren. Cause, uh, cause I live in California and I think wrens are adorable and they are small. They are small and recognizable. A winter wren, a house wren, a marsh wren, a western winter wren. And there is now a cat between me and the monitor. Gonna carry all the way on. There you go. Let's, yeah, let's, uh, and now the cat has left. So I, looking at what kind of wren? Marsh wrens, house wrens. Sedge Wren, Bewix Wren, Bewix is good. They've got the little stripe. The 
a splendid fairy run. That's not, that's not a lie. It is a splendid run. I'm sorry, I've fallen, <laughs> I've fallen down a, fallen down a research hole. Wikipedia, tell me about the splendid fairy run. Oh, it's Australian. No, wait, Australasian. Australate. Ugh, it's, uh, it's Australian. I was right the first time. It's in Australia. And it is blue. The Splendid Fairy Wren is awesome. Well, I was going to do a Western Wren, but now I think I'm going to do a Splendid, a Splendid Fairy Wren. Um, because, because look, they're, they're, they're just, they're everything that I love about wrens, but in blue. <laughs> I mean... I mean, look at those little guys. So... So wait, that's the hummingbird? Yes. So in this little bit here, I think we can have ourselves... A little, a little round... The, with the with the perky tail the little round body And the little, little stripe. Oh, right. Like I, I love, I love when someone saw a bird and was clearly impressed. Like, they're like, oh, what do we name it? I don't know, but it's splendid. I mean, I don't know what else we say about it, but it's definitely splendid. And I mean, it, they're not wrong. <laughs> nice. I don't know if that is to scale. I think it might be a little small. I think I'm going to have to to scale it up a little bit here. That's probably it's probably more likely more likely a size. The Wikipedia page that I linked you to probably told me how big they are. And I did not listen. Mm. 
There. A splendid, a splendid fairy wren. Ah, 5.5 .5 inches. So actually, did I still put that on the same? I did. I still put it on the same layer. Um, so actually, even a little bigger. More like that. In proper, yes, 14 centimeters in proper units of measure. In the units of measure used used by civilized peoples. There we go. So we've still got some some gaps here. I'm gonna Maybe move the hummingbird up here. I don't know. He can. He can kind of go wherever. Oh, we can we can make room for a duck. What kind of duck? Oh, uh, what was the, um, there was a whole thing about, like, a, a very, a very specific rare kind of duck in, uh, Central Park, I want to say, somewhere, somewhere in New York, at some point. Um... Bobblehead? That's a pretty fancy duck. I'm gonna. <laughs> that wasn't. Yeah, that was. It was. It was some sort of. I don't know. I'm gonna Google rare, rare ducks, and see what happens. Ah, it was. It was. It was. Um. It was a mandarin. It was a mandarin duck. In Central Park. Yes. Um, I mean, Mandarin. Yes, a rare, quote, a rare Mandarin duck mysteriously appeared in New York. So we might do, we might do, uh, in, in honor, in honor of, of, uh, in honor of the famous. Oh, but Birders got a little annoyed about the duck because of the fuss it caused. And because it, it was likely just released at, or escaped and therefore not wild. Yeah, that's fair. It's certainly not. Native, I don't think. Um, har Harlequin ducks are fun. Um, a hooded merganser. Yeah, I've always I've always liked wood ducks. Yeah, let's just do let's just do a wood duck. I've always been a wood a wood duck fan. Let's see some good some good let's get some good flying duck 
reference. Oh, there's a, a, a some landing duck reference. Ah, oh, this one, this one's good. Yes, there are so, so many birds, just so many birds. So many birds in general. Let's do So, duck friend will go down here. I think in this side, have we, is this centered? It's centered-ish. <laughs> yeah, so, um, hmm, scale. Scale, maybe not, maybe, maybe it is a sitting duck. <laughs> I realize that that, yeah, I don't, you know what I mean. <laughs> one of those really, one of those really small owls. Oh, burrowing owls are adorable. I have an illustration of burrowing owls. Feel like I feel like we're having a scale a scale problem going on at this point. It's where the oops. further up front, like there. Let's see. Because I feel like, actually, that's. I feel like, in reality, Duck's head is about length of your fingers maybe or so maybe I was I was closer to right before kind of like that Trying to get size relationships worked out. And then 
um, a white belly. And down like that, yes. I think now we're just we're just gonna go off the bottom of the page is what's gonna happen. And be okay with that. As what happens. Cause Because I, I feel I agree we needed we needed a waterfowl. I think we also now need we need some sort of raptor. Um, got it. We gotta start. Gotta start covering all of our, all of our bird bases. Ooh, a kestrel. Kestrels are good. I'm a fan of kestrels. They are also small, which is, in this case, helpful. Right, good, a kestrel. Let's, hummingbird, let's just shift you. We'll have a kestrel here-ish, or here, here, or here. We need, we need a bird in each of these corners and then we need a bird down here. So we'll start with a kestrel. A flying kestrel because, because we definitely need Need it in the air. Oh, we could be all dramatic. Have it, have it actually. Flying towards the camera ish maybe sort of here little black stripe you know the the classic the classic eagle coming at the camera pose Smaller, smaller bill.
crazy tale. legs and feet. Oh, let's see, how does this one go? Like this, and then like that. Yep. This is a weird angle. We will make it work. Kind of like that. Where? Put you over there. Nah. Maybe over here. Though no one's flying over there. I don't know. Seems fine. <laughs> Seems fine. They're quite small, right? Just rearranging a little bit. Hmm. Or the middle. And the hummingbird could go back. Oops. No, just the hummingbird. Could go back over here. We could be creating a, a tower. Yeah, we need to fill this space with something. Okay, just gonna just gonna turn that off for now. Yes, I know. Just put you over here. Try a different approach completely. Hello. Welcome to uh Welcome to a uh, bird. <laughs> Welcome to Black Birders. Making a poster. Um, working on working on the sketch for the poster. This is how 
far we've gotten. Just filling a space with birds. I'm debating. Maybe the king. Okay. Uh, maybe if I stop hitting the wrong keystrokes. Photoshop. Thank you. Nope. Maybe if I. Kingfisher over a little. Eh. Kingfisher, you're a problem. What if the kingfisher's over here? And then the hummingbird is up here. And then Ramen Doodle is a solid screen name. Um, and then what if what if Kestrel but on other side? So like over over here? Yeah, that's a blank layer. Over here we have a little a little murder bird. Um, about to eat a pigeon, I guess. Oops. Um, staging. That's fine. It's the circle of life. Um, so then we've got wings. Wings there. That kind of fills the space better. I feel like I'm just making this, this poster like larger and larger. Unnecessarily. It's fine. Birds expanding out forever from the from the poster center. So then it would need something. Now my red circles are all incorrect. I'll just erase them and make new red circles. Now I need a now I need a small bird here and a big bird here. Maybe a hummingbird here. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for thanks for the raid. Thanks for coming by. Okay, those are my new red my new red circles of bird locations. Back to actually drawing whatever layer that's the layer I was on. Back to back to actually drawing a kestrel here. Let's try and Raptor faces are like very very specific. They've got this recognizable shape. Fairly large eyes, I assume for hunting. Then. No, music pot's gone back to gone back to its its space fixation. It's gone back to its derelict space stations and lost ships.
It doesn't. It has it has nice forest songs. We've heard them before. Because we're on free music bot, we're getting the same songs over and over again. Um, I would I I would pay I would pay for music bot actually um, if it were stable, but with I've already had to uninstall it and reinstall it like clean web like going and finding the library files and erasing them once. So I'm not I'm not convinced. If MusicBot were a more stable MusicBot app, um, then I would be more tempted. Although in, in, in MusicBot's defense, uh, I am on a Mac and nobody loves, nobody loves that. No one likes developing for, for Mac. So it is partly my fault. But only partly. Well, it's... it's got seagulls now in the background so that's something oops no again I just I just want to select the foot Photoshop in there. The, the wide tail spread. And this is pointing the wrong way. Oh, future Sarah is going to have such a pain inking this. <laughs> really set myself up for a task, haven't I? Have a good have a good night, Jabberwocky. I'm glad that you were enjoying my stream. This needs to be a bit more. Maybe a bit smaller. I'm going to Google Kestrel on human hand. <laughs> Just want to see a scale. Oh, they're so they're so tiny and small. He needs to be much smaller. Look at this. Look at this wee fellow. Grab this shutter stock image. No. Why did you put it in that folder? 
My desktop is a huge mess. Oh, just to show you guys. Yes, present Sarah does make things hard for future Sarah pretty regularly. It's true. Look at look at how little. Look at how little and adorable. He's got his little little stripey. So he actually needs to be small. More like this. He actually fits better than we thought. Music pot is taking wishful drinking. Oh yeah, I remember this track. We've had this track before. Just a little, just a little murder floof. I think it was part of this. I think I think wishful drinking was part of the secret agent story plot the previous time that it came up, which was surprisingly coherent. Okay, I need to grab just all of the layers and scoot us this way. Now. <laughs> now. Aha, it fits. Oh, this is a terrible, this is a terrible layout. It's a terrible layout, and I'm doing it anyway. Hummingbird, could you be over here? That might actually make more sense. If you're over, oh no, now the, the kestrel's gonna eat it. Oh no. It's fine. Right. I know. I <laughs> I've put it I've put it in a terrible position. I mean, I guess it could kind of No, it really it could be up here. Oh, up there kind of works. Hang on. But I mean, whatever I put here is going to be, it's going to be about to be murdered. What goes down? What, what, what's the, uh, what's the opposite of the, of the wood duck? Um. Burrowing owl. Need to close some windows here. I think a sand crane might actually be too big. I don't think. I don't think it it 
it quite fits. What do I have? I I have chickens. <laughs> I've got barn swallow. Uh, I know I have a burrowing. Yeah, I've got a burrowing owl reference folder. There it is. Let's see. A blue heron is equally as large as a sand crane. I, I, burrow, burrowing, burrowing owl. Oh, what about, um, What about I I'm I'm coming I'm coming round to the idea of uh of some sort of waiting bird because we don't have a waiting bird yet. So what about what about a night heron? Looking for a good Good night heron pose. Oh, here's one. Here's a here's a good here's a good classic heron -y pose. Ah yes, the the water menu. So Cause then, cause then we can kind of take up, oops, that was, because then we can kind of take up this whole space. Why does he? Why? Why do you keep doing that? Um. Because then we, yeah, then we can kind of take up this whole side space here. Fill in. Fill in kind of the the background gaps there. And have sort of, there we go. Fill in this gap without, um, without accidentally creating a bird that a Kestrel is about to murder. Because, I mean, he's, he's clearly not going to be able to, to take the, uh, take the heron on. He's clearly not going for the so he's probably going for like the same fish the heron is and it's fine so 
so that kind of that kind of solves the uh, solves the kestrel space problem. There we go. Or we could have his foot up here. Now eh, we'll put him in the water. Have him properly waiting. There we go. Oh, pretzel quit. <laughs> Be open. Come on. There we go. So yeah, waiting, waiting bird, waiting bird helps. Just gonna move the duck out some. All right. Um, we have an awkward trapped white space here. That we need to deal with. Otherwise, I think we're about done. Let's flying barn swallow. Maybe. Hmm. Something iconic-ish, the flying swallow. <laughs> we stopped talking about it. Um, Oh yeah, no more no more sheep guana with, with boba tea, alas. Hmm. Don't know if there's really enough space for it to work. Oh, have they not introduced anything fun and new for summer? That's too bad. Why would they take away our 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 fun our fun boba tea sheep guana option and not give us something to replace it with? How sad. So, I've done a barn swallow.
that's sort of visually a little bit unclear at this position, but I don't know, it seems Seems fine. It fills the space. Its mouth is a little bit weird. I think I've... I think I got it, made it a little bit big. It's a little bit smaller. Oops. More like that. Faith 2009, oh my. So. So this kind of feels like it's enough, you know? I mean, I mean, it's quite, it's quite the thing. Feels like, feels like it's, it's possibly, Possibly this is enough. You know, just, just possibly. Just gonna But in what font? Let's just try try impact regular here for a minute. Obviously, I'm going to have to do my own typography. Hello, Grew the Wonder. Oh. But. But this is kind of the idea. No. Oh, no. This is kind of the idea. So we'll just have that be a placeholder. For the insanity of this poster. Um, I do pottery on Friday tea time. Uh, Mondays is uh, usually a digital work day. It's usually working on whatever I have going. Sometimes Monday will be pottery um, if I've got pottery to finish. But mostly Mondays, casual work stream. Working on whatever I've got going on. You can check Twitter. I announce the topic of the Friday stream. Um, usually around Wednesday on Twitter. Sometimes I'll put up a poll, so... Oh yeah, I am. Um, <clears throat> that's my fault for not changing the title. <laughs> I'm bad at changing the title of my Twitch stream. Because, uh, it doesn't... It doesn't remind me to. Before I start. And if I have the stream open, everything breaks, so... Sorry about that. Sorry for the confusion. I'll try and be better about keeping my, my titles clear. Are you the duck? You are the duck. Um, today, today is a bird poster. Friday, this week Friday will be pottery. So, stay tuned for that. And now, 
um, since it's 7.15, I'm basically time to wrap up, and I feel like if we put more birds in here, it will be silly. I think we're going to go ahead and start the, uh, start winding down. Start closing out today's stream. Just, uh, save some images, close some tabs. Because there are so many open tabs. There we go. This is how far we got. I feel like it's a pretty, pretty solid sketch start. I need to clean up the binoculars and hands. And do a lot of inking. And do some nicer typography for this bit here. This is kind of a placeholder. And I will post updates on Twitter as I finish it. Sorry for not changing the stream title. I hope that you guys had fun. I will see you on Friday for Friday Tea Time when we will be starting the pottery mini series with the tea set. Remember, patrons, you're voting on which tea set we're going to make. And remember my threat that if you tie it up, I'm going to let my mom pick. So, if you guys can't decide, I have a I have a tiebreaker set up. Stay safe, everybody. Um, if you're protesting, there are a lot of good threads on Twitter about protest safety and protocol. Hope that you stay safe. Black Lives Matter. The fact that we have to say it is fucked up. And, uh, Hope everybody manages to have a good night. I will see you on Friday for Friday Tea Time and on Twitter. Take care. Bye.